Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this baby blanket. You can make it for baby boys and girls. The stitched pattern that I used to make this baby blanket is a 3D fan stitch. I'm also going to show you how to crochet the border. Now, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop up here on the right hand side and in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. To make this baby blanket, I used about 562 grams of number three yarn. You can also use any yarn weight with any hook size. The important thing is the stitch multiple, which I will give to you as soon as we start the tutorial. And make sure to watch to the end of the tutorial. That is where I'm going to give you the finished measurement of my baby blanket in case you want to make yours smaller or bigger. Now let's get started and thank you so much for watching. Okay, to make this baby blanket, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'll be using this number three yarn. You can use any weight yarn with any hook size. So here, to begin, the first thing is we need to make a chain. The multiple to this stitch is multiples of six plus one. Now here I have a total of 145 chains. If you want to make your blanket bigger, then go ahead and add more chains and multiples of six. If you want to make it smaller, then take away chains and multiples of six. So here, to begin, like I said, I have 145 chains. On the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do, just one single crochet on each chain, and at the end of this first row, I'm going to have a total of 144 single crochets. So continue, finish this first row, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 144 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Now in this second row, we're going to skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, we're going to make a fan. Each one of these fans from here on is going to consist of two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. Now skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, make a single crochet. Skip one, two, and into the third, make a fan. Skip one, two, and into the third, make a single crochet skip one, two, and into the third a fan. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this second row. You're just going to alternate between a fan and a single crochet. Skip one, two, and into the third a single crochet again. And that's what it looks like. Continue like this for this second row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did these fans separated by one single crochet. I have a total of 24 fans. Now to finish here at the end into this last single crochet, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Now this pattern consists of repeating two rows. This third row is one of the rows that you're going to repeat. So here, we have the first fan, we have four double crochets into the first two double crochets, make a front post double crochet on each of the double crochets. Inside the chain one space, you're going to make a V-stitch. Each one of the V-stitches is going to consist of a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then we have the last two double crochets, so make a front post double crochet on each one. And this is all you're going to do for each one of the fans. Again, we have the second fan, we have four double crochets into the first two double crochets, make a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a V stitch. And into these last two double crochets, make a front post double crochet on each one. Again, we have the third fan, four double crochets into the first two double crochets, make 
a front post double crochet inside the chain one space make a v-stitch and finish with two front post double crochets this is all you're going to do for the rest of this third row and this is what it looks like from the back and this is the front continue and i will meet you at the end of this third row i'm here at the end of this third row this is where we did front post double crochets and in the center we did a v-stitch to finish this row we're going to go here into the second chain and make a double crochet now for the fourth row chain three and turn now this fourth row is the second repeat row so from here on you're going to repeat the third and the fourth row so for the fourth row we have our first fan inside we have the v-stitch so into this first double crochet of this v-stitch make a front post double crochet inside the v-stitch make a fan two double crochets chain one two double crochets and then finish by making a front post double crochet again we have the next fan we have the v-stitch here inside we're going to work a front post double crochet into this double crochet of the v-stitch a fan inside the v-stitch and finish with a front post double crochet one more time we have the v-stitch inside this fan into the first double crochet of this v-stitch make a front post double crochet inside the v-stitch make a fan and finish with a front post double crochet and that's all we're going to do for this fourth row now continue finish this fourth row and i'll meet you at the end to show you once again how to start the next row which is exactly the same thing we did for the third row i'll meet you at the end of this fourth row i'm here at the end of this fourth row now to finish we're going to go here into the second chain and make a double crochet then here's the fourth row so like i said from here on you're just going to repeat these two rows this fourth row and the third row so for the fifth row i need to repeat the third row again so chain three and turn now for this fifth row we have the first fan we have three double crochets and then three double crochets on this fan we're going to go right in the center where we have the fan that we did inside the v-stitch so we have four double crochets these two double crochets on each side we're not going to do anything we're only going to make our front post double crochets into these four double crochets so to begin into the first two double crochets make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space make a v-stitch and finish with two front post double crochets again we have the second fan skip this first double crochet and then we have the fan that we did inside the v-stitch so into these two double crochets make two front post double crochets inside this chain one space make a v-stitch and finish with two front post double crochets one more time we have the next fan find your fan that you did inside the v-stitch it's right here we don't do anything with these two double crochets on either side so we have the first two double crochets of this fan make two front post double crochets and inside the chain one space make a v-stitch and finish with two front post double crochets that's all you're going to do for the rest of this fifth row and that's what it looks like from the back and here's the front now from here on these are the two rows like i said that you're going to repeat i'm going to do about 60 rows i'm not exactly sure but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do and all i'm going to do is 
repeat these two rows. So continue and I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I have done a total of 62 rows counting from this first row of fans that we did. Up to this last row, I have 62 rows. Now, if you want to make it longer, you can just continue in the same way and make it as long as you want. I'm going to leave it like this. Right now, it's measuring about 35 by 35 inches. Now, what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to make single crochets here in this last row so that it looks kind of sort of like this so that it's nice and straight so that when we do the border, uh, this part here is already done. Now this here is the front of the baby blanket. As you can see, that's what it looks like. You can see the 3D fans there. So make sure that the next row that you're going to do is worked from the front. So here, I finished my last row, row 62. So here I'm going to chain one and turn and on top of this first double crochet here, make a single crochet. Now, each one of the fans, we have a total of 24 fans. You're going to work one single crochet on each one of the double crochets. I'm not going to make a single crochet inside the chain space, so we're going to skip the chain one space here. So let me show you. We have the first fan, and into these first three double crochets, make one single crochet on each one, that's three, skip the chain one space, and into the next three, make one single crochet. You can even, um, in the previous row, instead of making one chain here, you can just make uh, two double crochets because we're skipping it anyway, so we don't need that chain space in this last row. So now we have the next fan, you're going to do the same thing. Three single crochets, skip the chain one space and then finish with three single crochets. So each one of the fans is going to have six single crochets. Now continue, let's finish this row 63 and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of row 63. I did single crochets here along the top. I have a total of 145 single crochets. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make my first corner because now we're going to work single crochets along this side and along this other side and along the bottom. The important thing here is that we want to make sure that the same number of single crochets that we have along here uh, on this side, we're going to have the same number of single crochets along this other side and the same thing for the top. We have 145 single crochets, so I'm going to try and have the same number of single crochets for the bottom. So make sure that you do the same thing. If you did this part here longer, then you're going to have more stitches. So this is how you're going to do it. It's the same thing. So here, to finish, we have this first space. So this here is going to be one of the corners. So into each one of the corners, we're going to make three single crochets. So just insert your hook there and make three single crochets. And here's the first corner. Now, I still have some room here, so I'm going to add one more single crochet here. So that into this space here, I have four single crochets. Now, I have a double crochet and three chains. Double crochet, three chains. So what I'm going to do into each one of the spaces is two single crochets. One and two, one and two, one and two. And this is how I'm going to continue until I come to the bottom part. So that's all I'm going to do here. So continue, finish this side, and I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this side and then continue along the bottom. Okay, I finished making single crochets along this side. I have a total of 123 single crochets, not including the three single crochets that we did on the first corner. Now, what I'm going to do here is into this first chain that we have here at the bottom, along the very bottom here, I'm going to make three single crochets into this very corner stitch right there. And now we're just going to continue and make one single crochet for each one of these chains here. These are the remaining chains that we had when we um, first started. Remember we did single crochets here, so right into this same row, I'm going to work one single crochet for each chain. 
I'm just going to continue and work single crochets until I come to this other corner. So I'll meet you there. Okay, I finished making single crochets along the bottom part. I have a total of 142 single crochets, not including the three single crochets that I did here for this second corner. Now, here's my last stitch. So into this last stitch right here, I'm going to go right here so that this corner is nicely reinforced. I'm going to make three single crochets here. And now I'm going to continue along this side and do the same thing we did on the other side. For each space here, we did two single crochets, so we're going to do the same thing. So hopefully once I finish this side, I'm going to have the same number of single crochets as I had on the other side. So continue, finish this side, and I will meet you here to show you how we're going to work this fourth corner. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this side. I have a total of 123 single crochets. So for this side here, it's perfect because on the other side, I also had 123 single crochets. Now into this last space here, I only did one single crochet so that I can finish with the um, 123 single crochets. Now what I'm going to do next is we have the single crochets along the top. Along the top here, I have a total of 140 45. So what I'm going to do here is into this first single crochet, I'm going to make this into my fourth corner. So I'm going to make three single crochets here. And now I'm going to continue along the top and work one single crochet for each one of the single crochets that I have. And if my math is correct, I should have 144 single crochets for the top part. I'm not going to make any adjustments or anything because if you remember here for the bottom, I had 142 single crochets, which is still okay. I'm not going to adjust. Um, it's going to be off by two stitches, so it shouldn't make much of a difference. So I'm just going to work one single crochet along the top. And so I will meet you once we get here to the first corner to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I finished making single crochets along the top. I have a total of 144 single crochets. So the top and the bottom is off by just two stitches single crochet so I'm not going to make any adjustments I'm just going to leave it like this so now here to finish we're just going to go into the first single crochet out of the three that we did here for this first corner and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finish this row of single crochets all around now what I'm going to do next is we're going to start the border so I'm right here into the first single crochet out of the three that we have for the first corner for the second row I'm going to make a slip stitch into the center single crochet which is the next one so make a slip stitch there now chain three and into this same space here you're going to make a double crochet chain one two double crochets Now again, into this same stitch, which is the center single crochet for this first corner, I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. For each corner from here on, this is what you're going to do. You're going to make two fans, just like this two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then repeat the same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now we're going to continue along this side. I'm going to skip one, two, three, and into this fourth single crochet, I'm going to make a fan. Each one of these fans from here on is always going to be the same. Two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets, and then we're going to separate them with three single crochets. So one, two, three, and into the fourth, make your next fan. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make another fan. This is how you're going to continue along this side here until you come to the second corner, 
where we're going to do the exact same thing I just did here. I'm going to continue and do this and I will meet you right here to show you how to do this second corner. Okay, I finished making these fans along the side. I have a total of 31 fans. Here is the second corner into the center stitch, which is the second one here. I'm going to make my two fans. Now, notice that here I have my last fan and then I have only two stitches in between this corner here. It's okay. This is where we're going to adjust and don't worry about it. It's going to look uh, fine at the end. The important thing is that for each corner, you do exactly the same thing. You just make these two fans. Now I'm going to continue along the bottom and I'm going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, I'm going to make my fan and then continue and do the same thing until I come to the third corner. So continue and I will meet you here in this third corner to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my last fan here for the bottom part. Here for the bottom, I have a total of 35 fans. Now, what I'm going to do here at the end is here is my last fan and here's my corner stitch. I have one, two, three, four stitches. I'm going to skip four instead of three here and right into this corner stitch, I'm going to make my two fans. Now we're going to continue along this side here. Along this side, I want to have a total of 31 fans because along the other side, the opposite side, I have 31. So here, we're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make your fan here. Now continue along and I will meet you here at the top, here where we have the fourth corner to show you what we need to do next. I'm almost done with this side. This is the fourth corner. Up to here, I have a total of 30 fans. I need to make one more because on the other side, I had 31. So I want to make sure I finish with the same number of fans. So here to do my last fan, I'm going to skip one, two, and into this third stitch right here, I'm going to make my last fan. So this would be fan number 31. Now here's my fourth corner into this corner stitch right here. I'm going to make my two fans. Here's the first one and I'm going to make the second one. Now I'm going to continue along the top and do the same thing. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. For the top part, I want to make sure to finish with 35 fans because for the bottom part, I had 35. So I want to make sure I have the same number of fans. So continue and I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm almost done with this second row. Here's my last fan for the top part. Here I have a total of 35 fans. So for the top and the bottom, I have 35 fans and on the sides, I have 31 and 31. So that's perfect. So here to finish this second row, we're going to go here on top of the third chain and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the second row. Now for the third row, what I'm going to do is into the next double crochet here, I'm going to make a slip stitch. And now inside this chain one space, make another slip stitch. Now once inside this first fan, 
For the first corner, I'm going to make three chains and inside this same space here, make a double crochet chain one, two double crochets. Here's the first fan for this first corner. Now I'm going to make one more fan and I'm going to do it in the middle of these two. So right here, I'm going to go into the this space here in between the two fans and make my second fan. Now into the second fan out of the two that we did in the second row, I'm going to make my third fan for this third row. And this is how we're going to work each one of the corners. We're going to make three fans inside the two fans and then in the center. Now we're going to continue along this side and inside each one of the fans, you're going to do fans. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. That's all I'm going to do for each one of the fans until I come to the second corner. I will meet you here to show you once again how to work the corners and then you're going to continue on your own. Okay, did my last fan for this side. Here's the second corner. This is what you're going to do on each one of the corners. Here we have two fans. So into the first chain one space here of this first fan, make a fan. In the middle of the two fans, so right here, make a fan. So this is going to be the second fan for this second corner. And now inside the second fan out of the two that we did in the previous row, make your third fan for this third row. right there. That's how you're going to work each one of the corners. You're going to do three fans inside the two fans and then one in the center. And now you're just going to continue along the bottom part until you come to the next corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm not going to show you that because this part here is exactly the same thing. Just make fans inside of the fans and then each corner you're going to do exactly the same thing. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish here, I'm going to go here on top of the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this third row. Now for the fourth row, here's the first corner. We have three fans. So here I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside this first fan. Now here, chain three, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. This here is the first fan to this fourth row. Now we have the second fan and right inside, make a fan. And into the third, same thing. This is how we're going to work each one of the corners. We're going to make one fan on each one of the three fans for each corner. So here, continue along this side, making fans until you come to the second corner, where I'm going to show you once again how to work each one of the corners from here on because you're going to continue and finish the rest of this fourth row. Okay, I finished making these fans here along this side. Here's the second corner. We have three fans inside each one of the fans. You're going to do a fan. And that's all you're going to do on each one of the corners. Here's the first one. Inside the second one, same thing a fan and inside the third one same thing and 
and that's what it looks like. You're going to do exactly the same thing on each one of the corners. So continue along all around, finish this fourth row, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished this fourth row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. Now I'm not going to make any more rows. I'm only going to make these three rows of fans. If you want to continue and make more, you can continue and do it exactly in the same way as I showed you. So now what I'm going to do next with this 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, or you can also use the five millimeter hook and this number three yarn and this off white color I'm going to go right here into the first row that we did of single crochets and right in the middle we have three single crochets in some areas we don't but we're going to adjust uh, once we get to those areas so here I'm going to insert my hook into the first row of single crochets and right in the middle of these three single crochets right there now this here is our corner so make sure that you're next to the corner here so grab a loop here bring it through the front chain three and right inside the same space or the same stitch where we have these two fans right in the middle of the two insert your hook like this and make a single crochet chain three single crochet now chain three right in the middle we have again three single crochets so into the second single crochet which is the middle make a slip stitch chain three and now inside the same single crochet where we have this fan insert your hook like this and make a single crochet chain three single crochet so inside the same stitch where we have the fans you're going to do this single crochet three chain single crochet and right in the middle of the two fans a slip stitch let me show you again chain three in the middle of the two fans into the second single crochet out of the three make a slip stitch chain three inside the same stitch where I have this fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet i find that if i fold this like this it's easier i know there's a fan here and i know there's three single crochets here so i just find the middle single crochet again chain three and then in the middle slip stitch chain three inside this single crochet where i have the fan single crochet chain three single crochet chain three and then in the middle of the fans slip stitch and that's all i'm going to do i know this is a bit tedious and a lot of work but believe me it's going to be worth it at the end and it's going to look simply beautiful so continue like this for this first row i will meet you right here in, um, this is the second corner I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do so that you can continue and do the same thing for the rest okay I'm almost done with this side here's my last fan before my corner here's the corner so here I have my three chains and if you notice I only have two single crochets before my corner so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert my hook right here right in the middle you see that like this and make your slip stitch chain three and then we have our corner this is the second corner so just insert your hook right in the middle of the two fans that we have there and make a single crochet chain three single crochet again chain three and then we have the three single crochets here so into the second make a slip stitch chain three and we have this next fan there right in the middle single crochet chain three single crochet and this is what it looks like so just continue like this in the same way until you come to the third corner and there you just need to adjust accordingly so that it looks nice this is just going to be for this first row in the second row we're going to come here into the 
first row of fans and do the same thing but um, we don't need to do anything else like this so just make sure to adjust accordingly there so that it looks nice just like we did here so continue finish and i'll meet you at the end of this first row Okay, I finished making this first row of chains here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now we're going to do the same thing here for the second row, and we're going to go right here into the first row of fans. So right there, insert your hook, grab a loop, chain three, one, two three now inside this first fan right here right into the chain one space right there make a single crochet chain three single crochet now chain three right in the middle of these two fans we have this fan now i'm going to insert my hook through the three chains here of the first row that we just did and then in the center right there of this row right there make a single crochet chain three and then again make a single crochet in this row we're going to be grabbing the three chains when we do the three chains in the next row let me show you again chain three in the middle of this next fan right here make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three now here we have these two fans right in the middle we're going to make a slip stitch this part doesn't change now chain three and now again we have these three chains that we did so insert your hook through that and in the middle of this fan right there where we have this fan in the next row make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three in the middle of the two fans make a slip stitch chain three and here again we have the three chains that we did in the previous row insert your hook through there and in the middle of this fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet and then chain three again and in the middle of the two fans a slip stitch this is how we're going to continue for the rest of this second row and this is what it looks like continue like this and i'll meet you right here to show you once again how we're going to work each one of the corners from here on okay i'm almost done with this side this is what it looks like so now here i have my last fan for this side i did my three chains slip stitch now i have the two fans that we did in this first row of fans so now chain three and right in the middle of this first fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three now in the middle of the two fans we have this fan so right there we're going to insert our hook through the three chains here that we did on the first row and through the middle here and make a single crochet chain three single crochet into this same space chain three and then we have the second fan out of the two that we did in this corner right in the middle into the chain one space make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three and in the middle of the two fans this part here is the same make a slip stitch chain three and now we have the next fan here insert your hook through the three chains here and in the middle make a single crochet three chains single crochet chain three slip stitch between the two fans and so on 
Now this here is the same thing we did on this side, and this is what it looks like. Here's the corner. You're going to do exactly the same thing on each one of the next two corners, so that's what it's going to look like. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this second row. Okay, I finished making this second row with this white yarn. Here I just did my last slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through this last loop. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing into the next row of fans, which is the second row of fans. So right here, insert your hook, grab a loop, grab a loop here with this white yarn, and chain three. One, two, three. Now, in this second row of fans, we have one, two, three fans. So we're going to go right here, right in the center of the first fan, but we're going to insert a hook through the three chains that we did in the second row of chains and through the center, so like this. Make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into this same space. Now chain three, and then in the middle of the first fan and the second fan for this corner, make a slip stitch, chain three, and then we have our second fan, and right in the center again, go through the center of the three chains and through the center of the fan, and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Now chain three in the middle of these two fans, the center and the third fan right there, make a slip stitch, chain three, and then we have the last fan, insert your hook through the three chains, and right in the center of this fan, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. For each corner in this row, we're going to have three of these chain three spaces. Now we're going to continue along the side and do the same thing. Chain three, and right in the middle of these two fans, make a slip stitch, chain three. In the middle of the next fan, go through the three chains and in the center of the next fan and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. From here on, it's the same thing we did in the second row for the sides. So continue like this, and I'll meet you. Right here, this is the second corner. I'll meet you here to show you how you're going to work this corner, and then you're going to continue on your own because it's going to be the same thing for each one. I'll see you then. Okay, I finished making this side. This is the second corner. We have our three fans for this corner, one, two, three. So here I have a slip stitch between the first fan for the second corner and the last one for this side. So here, chain three, insert your hook through the three chains and in the middle of the first fan for the corner, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, and in the middle of these two fans between the second and the first one right here, make a slip stitch, chain three. We have the middle fan, which is the second one. Insert your hook through the three chains and through the middle of this second fan, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet again, chain three, and between the second and third fan, make a slip stitch, chain three, insert your hook through the three chains and in the center of this third fan of this corner, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, and in the middle of these next two, a slip stitch, chain three, and insert your hook through the three chains and in the middle of this next fan, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and then the rest is exactly the same, like we've been doing here on the sides. 
and that's what it looks like you're going to do exactly the same thing i just did here on each one of the next two corners so continue and finish this third row and i will meet you at the end okay i finished making this third row of chains here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through this last loop now we're going to finish here this last row so same thing i'm going to insert my hook right here into this space this is where i finished the last row of fans here insert your hook there in the middle of these two fans grab a loop or chain three here and now we have three fans on each corner i'm going to show you here in this corner since you're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to go in the middle where we have the three chains and through the middle of the first fan and make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three in the middle of these two fans right here make a slip stitch chain three in the middle of the next fan insert your hook through the chains and in the middle of the fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three and then in the middle of the two fans a slip stitch chain three and in the middle of the last fan through the three chains and in the middle of the last fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet and here's the corner we have the three fans there that's how you're going to work each one of the corners and now here we're just going to continue along the edge here making three chains and then in the middle of the two fans make a slip stitch chain three and in the middle of the fan through the three chains make a single crochet chain three single crochet that's all we're going to do for this row so continue and i will meet you at the end of this fourth row okay i went ahead and finished this last row of chains here at the end i just did my last slip stitch cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop now all you need to do is just hide your ends i already went ahead and did mine here just hit them here on the inside my baby blanket is all done along with the border this is what the border looks like i'm going to show you the corners here this here is the fourth corner and here's the third corner right there they all look the same and this here is the second corner and this here on this side is the first corner where we were finishing each one of the rows and that's what it looks like now i know that the border here it's a lot of work but i think that at the end it's so worth it that's what it looks like from this side and this is the inside or the wrong side of the blanket and the stitch as well that's what it looks like on the other side and here's the front of the stitch you can clearly see the little 3d fans so this blanket is all done along with the uh, border so I hope you like it now let me give you the finished measurement uh, my blanket has a width of about 38 inches which is about 96.5 centimeters and the length of it is 37 inches which is about 94 centimeters so it's about 38 inches by 37 inches once finished um, I just laid it out in the floor and measured it and then you can just add the two and a half inches all around for the border now you can always adjust the size of your blanket you can either make it smaller or bigger at the beginning of the tutorial I give you the stitch multiples to this pattern so you can adjust it and you can use any hook size any yarn weight um, that would be up to you okay so this was today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time